So, today I will demonstrate very simple experiment how to measure the uh, refractive index of, uh, of liquid. So, basically uh, we will take water, uh, so we will measure the uh, refractive index of water. Okay. So, uh, for this measurement the working principle will follow like so you have water and this is the interface of water and air refractive index of air is say N0 and water is NW. Now in water if you have an object S if you have an object S then if you see the image of this object from here, so where you will see that image. So, image will be formed by the uh, refracted rays. So, light will come from the from the uh, water to the air. So, there will be refraction at this interface. So, this is one ray is uh, perpendicular to the interface. So, it will go refracted following without changing the direction. Second uh, ray say this one is the second ray. Okay. So, is a denser medium and it is a rarer medium. So, it is a uh, so, if I took this is a incident angle. So, here basically I have taken R actually from other side we can say this is the refracted angle because a light follows the reversibility principle. Okay. So, so this ray this is the normal. So, this angle this angle will be uh, no. So, I have taken this the this is the normal. So, this is the incident angle I, this is the incident angle I. So, this is the refracted ray. So, uh, angle of refraction is R. Okay. So, this is one refracted rays and this is another refracted ray. So, from outside in here we will see we will see that this light is coming from this point. Okay. So, if you uh, if you extend backwards these two refracted rays, so they will meet here. So, basically this image will be formed at this place. Okay. So, apparently we will see this height of the of the uh, object inside water it has uh, is decreased. So, that object apparently we will see it has come up. Okay. So, if you take another ray also if you extend it refracted one, so they will meet here. So, this angle are very small if you see if you see put your eye here. Okay. So, following the Snell's law you can write sin n0 uh, sin r why I have written r ok yes. So, because this here uh, is the sometimes confusing uh, because we are habituated to define the angle from air to water. So, here in opposite. So, n0 sin r equal to n w sin i ok incident angle here and corresponding refracted uh, refractive index. So, N w by N 0 equal to sin r by sin i. Approximately if angles are small then you can write tan r by tan i. So, tan r and tan i. So, this angle is r and this angle is i. So, tan is basically O O dash by O S dash and for another case O S right. So, O O dash by O S dash for tan R 
and for tan i u u dash by u s right. So, so this equal to basically u s by u s dash. So, actual depth divided by apparent depth ok. So, for here n 0 that is 1. So, n w is equal to basically actual depth divided by apparent depth. So, if we can measure the uh, actual depth and the apparent depth of the of the object ok. So, uh, then we can calculate the uh, the uh, refractive index of of liquid of water ok. So, uh, for measuring this one basically we will follow the following step we will follow the following step. So, uh, so procedure step by step basically uh, read the x mark just inside bottom surface of a beaker. So, we will take a beaker uh, so at the bottom surface inside inside bottom surface of the of the beaker we will write some mark say x or plus or something or some uh, circular drop ok ink drop ok. Then uh, we will use microscope traveling microscope and uh, we will focus we will focus the uh, microscope to see to see the uh, actually first you should you should focus the microscope to the cross wire and then uh, this uh, you place this uh, microscope you place this microscope uh, on the on the beaker to see to see this uh, mark this cross mark or plus marks and uh, we have to adjust the height to see the image to see the image of x on the plane of the cross wire ok. So, uh, then uh, when it is focused properly on the on the object ok. So, we will take we will note down the reading of the uh, reading of the of the uh, scale ok. So, that we will note down say this is d 1 then we will fill the beaker with liquid in our case we will use water and again we will adjust the height of the telescope for clear image and again we will note down the reading of the scale. So, that is say d 2 then we will spray uh, lycopodium or some chalk powder ok on the surface of the water and then we will adjust the height again to see the powder image and note down the reading. So, that is the basically water surface uh, that is uh, uh, the reading for the water surface. So, if that reading is 3, so this is the water surface. Now, uh, so, what is the distance of the object from the water surface means what is the actual depth of the uh, object. So, that we will get uh, d 3 minus d 1 or d 1 minus d 3 and the image apparent height of the uh, object or the image ok. So, that we will get from uh, so, difference between the d 2 and the and d 3 ok. Then we will be able to calculate the refractive index ok. So, this table is very simple. <coughs> so, we have to uh, note down the list count of the microscope. We have to note down the list count of the microscope ok. Then one column is for serial number, then reading for d 1 d 1 means this uh, object uh, uh, depth ok. So, main scale reading, Vernier scale reading, uh, then total, then we will take few ob observation, then we will we have to take average 
and then reading for D2 means for image okay, and then reading for D3 that is for uh, surface. right? So, then you can calculate the uh, N uh, W refractive index of uh, water. So, that is D1 minus D3 or D3 minus D1 uh, divided by D2 minus D3 or D3 minus D2. Okay. So, actually you have to one can keep this mod. So, then whatever you take difference that does not matter. Okay. So, let us uh, see the setup for this experiment. Uh, so, this is the setup for the experiment. I need only one microscope, traveling microscope and I have a beaker and beaker. So, there is a you can see this uh, there is object this basically is marked. So, it is uh, yes it is uh, uh, some marking at the bottom of the uh, beaker uh, basically inside bottom. So, that that is our object. Okay. So, in traveling microscope so you know that there are three scale one is one is along this direction another is along this direction and other one is along the height okay so uh, at present we have set the x and y direction uh, for putting the uh, this microscope uh, on top of the beaker right so, we will not uh, we do not bother about this shifting, but initially one has to uh, shift along x and y direction. So, at present only we will deal with this with this uh, uh, height with this scale. Okay. So, in this scale you can see here it is basically it will work like a screw gauge, because here this is the linear scale, this is the linear scale and this is a circular scale. Okay. So, it has 100 division circular division and if I rotate uh, where is 0 position, 0 position is uh, uh, I think it is the 20, yes 0 position is other side here I can see here it is the 0 position. Okay. If I rotate, so let me take the 0 position here. So, I think yeah this is the 0 position. Okay. So, here what is the reading that I have to see? Uh, I can see the reading that is uh, uh, it is uh, 2.5, 2.5 or 25 millimeters, 25 millimeter. Okay. Uh, so, if I rotate once then we have to shift let me rotate by 100 division ok. So, now its reading is uh, is I can see this is uh, 2.4 24 millimeter ok. So, that means for a one complete rotation for 100 division. So, linear scale that is this change is 1 millimeter. So, list count will be, so you have to note down list count for this for the scale that we will use for measuring uh, for doing the experiment. So, uh, uh, so one smallest, so that is basically 1 millimeter, 1 millimeter for, for 100 circular division. So, basically you will get 0 0.01 millimeter, then 0 0.001 centimeter. So, that is the list count for this uh, for this microscope, okay, for this scale, uh, vertical scale, okay, this scale only we will use. So, next let me now uh, I have to focus. Uh, uh, the object 
okay so that mark whatever is there so for that so it's a almost focus we kept it focus position but i change so i have to so i have to go other way So, to get the clear pictures, sharp pictures, sharp image, we have to, I think I should No, it's becoming hazy. So I have to go on that way. No, it's, it's not better. So it looks better. So, what is the reading? Uh, okay, but I think this is not enough. I have to Okay, let me fix here and then fine adjustment I can do with this. Yes, this it's a nicely focused. So I have to take reading. So reading is now it's uh, is uh, uh, two point five centimeters, and this one is uh, forty five, forty five. Okay. So so this reading I will note down. I will note down this reading. So, this main scale reading or linear scale reading in this case, okay. So, it is a you can write linear scale reading, okay. It is a uh, in which unit you should use, okay. Centimeter we have used. So, we will use this 2.5. And vernier is forty five into zero point zero zero one. So it's basically uh, total will be two point five four five. Okay. So I'm not taking another. So you should take two three observation. Okay. Try to uh, try to. Uh, uh, focus two three times and take the reading. So then find out the average of them. But I will take this one reading. Next, I will go for the. Uh, I will put water. I will put water. 
I will put water. So, I have water. So, it is uh, okay. So, I think slightly I, I reduce. Yes, I think it is fine. Uh, slightly more I will reduce. Fine, this could be fine. So, this water I have poured into the beaker and then put once more uh, here. Okay. Let me see, I have placed properly. Uh, yes, now it is a hedgy, so I have to focus to once more. Okay. So, uh, I will loosen this one, this screw and uh, course adjustment I should do, whether I have to take up or down that I have to check, yes I have to take up, yes, now more or less I, I found, it is a, uh, uh, yes now I have to adjust. I have to focus properly. Yes. I should, it is shaking, but I will. Yes, it is focused nicely. So, now I have to take this reading. I have to take this reading. What is the reading? It is now uh, 3 point, this I can take. Uh, 3.8, 3.8 and this one is uh, uh, 36, 3.8 and 36, okay. But I do not know here, it is 5, 6, 7, 8, I can take 3.9, is a it's confusion. There should not be parallax error, you know. So it should be 3.9, 3.9. Okay. So for D2, again, this this one should write uh, circular scale reading. Okay. Similarly here, linear scale reading. Okay. So that is. Uh, what what I told I forgot three point nine yes three point nine so three point nine and other one is thirty six I told thirty six circular scale reading thirty six into zero point zero zero one okay so your total will be three point nine three six okay. So, uh, so two more, two, three more observation one should take, then now I will take reading for B3 means on the surface, reading for the surface, okay. So, I will use just uh, uh, some chalk dust, I will use some, some chalk dust, yes. Just it should be visible, the surface should be visible. Okay. Let me check whether I should give more or I can 
C. I can see the dust, chalk dust on the surface. So, I have to take more height. I think I should give more dust. I cannot see. Basically, you should not. Okay, I should not give again too much because that height will change. Okay, so yes, I can see. I can see. I think it will be here somewhere. It's, it's, uh, I have to come down, so it should be up. But it looks I'm finding uh, yes, to get the exact um, to get the dust for focusing it. It's no. So for let's I don't know whether no no I don't know dust is more or uh, If not focused, if not focused,
I think I can get this place. Oh. Let's see. I think this may be the place. It's but something I should. I don't know. Some bigger. It's not. I think here I will get Actually, this problem I am facing that so.
this I think it is the right place Yeah, I think I because it's so white, as well as uh, it's now water uh, become um, it's not clear water. So I think I have put more dust. So, but this more or less uh, I could focus at this point. So this reading is uh, eight. Reading is 8 and this one is 40, 8 centimeters and 40, 8 centimeters. So, this reading it is the 8 centimeters and this one this 40 into uh, 0 0.001. So, it will be uh, 8 point zero four zero okay so so if I use this so this uh, d1 minus d3 so actually what this eight point zero four zero minus d3 minus d1 actual depth that is uh, 2 minus 2.545 okay divide by uh, 8.040 minus 3.936 okay so this will be equal to this 5 uh, then 5 9 then 6 this is 4 and then this is 5 divide by this will be 4 uh, 0 0 9 this 1 point uh, this 9 this 1 this 4 is 4 okay so 4.5 i have to use calcul this calculator now it's a on this 5.5.495 divided by 4.014 4.5 equal to. So, I got this the value, this is the value I got ok, 1 point how much 1.3389, 1 point I got this, this equal to 1.339 3, some other ok. So, it is uh, you see this how accurately we are able to measure this you know this uh, this uh, refractive index of water is 1.33 right. So, for glass we take uh, 1.5 and for uh, water it is 1.33. So, here 9 is there, but up to this 
uh, second decimal point okay so it's uh, exactly this whatever real value in literature so from simple experiment we are able to measure this refractive index of water okay so it's nice that i was able to focus properly so one has to try basically hmm? so uh, so take few few observation and take average you may get uh, even better uh, result it is a uh, it is between 3.33 and 3.34 so uh, you can get even uh, better than this result okay so so then one should do this error calculation etc so you know how to do that i describe for some experiment so i will not repeat uh, for this experiment so uh, it's a very simple experiment nice experiment and how easily uh, we can get very accurate refractive index of liquid uh, instead of water you can take other liquid and you can uh, measure it so i will stop here thank you